Hey YouTube, this is Gerko Kaiser. I'm here today to do a deck profile on my Legion Great Nature deck. So I'm going to get started right away going into the Grade 3 lineup. Uh, first is our 4 Chetner. Uh, I think that's how you say his name correctly. Um, so he's our break right. We've had him for a while. He's pretty solid. Um, in terms of what he does, he just sets up like, he does like the deck's really big one turn push that puts a lot of pressure on the opponent and then generates card advantage at the same time. As far as grade threes go, he's the best card that can team up with the Legion. Um, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd ever really make any great nature deck as of like the card pool they have now that doesn't use him. For my other grade 3, obviously, this is a Legion deck, I'm running for the Legion, the Fox. Uh, this card's really, really cool. Um, one, it's a Legion, so it lets you like reload your deck as you like, whether you want to put back your triggers, or just re reload like your searchables. Then he can give something plus 4 when he swings, and like... His relationship with his Legion mate, if you have it on rear guard, is really, really fantastic. You get to keep rebuilding your deck as you like, even like putting back triggers if you want. Um, it's kind of like an infinite loop once you have one of the grade two. You can just keep reloading the deck. Like It's really cool. I like this card a lot. Um, into the grade twos, there's... Three of our 10k, the Geograph Giant. Um, he's just a 10k beater. Um, I'm running him instead of Compass Lion because I don't like Compass Lion. The extra 1k isn't really worth it to me to force plays, especially early game. Um, I found the 1k isn't like necessary at all. Then I have for binocular tiger uh this card's like a great nature staple um i really can't imagine a great nature deck that want to play this card it's just too good and then last obviously is our four of our legion mate uh the illusion scientist uh this card is basically just a searcher that's a 9k but the way it interacts with the legion is just kind of broken And for our grade ones, we obviously have our four perfect guards. Um, then we have our four duckbill. Uh, I can't imagine a great nature deck that wouldn't play this card. It's just too good. Then three uh, hamsters. Um, I haven't played him in a while and some people would probably question why I would choose to run him over the raccoon which does the same thing and that's because the raccoon is very situ it's too you can't use it at all early game you have to wait till late game and it's too much setup and you have to like slow roll up until that one point so I don't really like it um, the hamster is good to go right away, and honestly, usually I team up the hamster with the great two legion fox, and then I pump, and I get like two pumps out of that, so that's a team of 15 plus 8, so that's, that's already hitting good numbers, so the extra 1k isn't really a thing, um, and I can always reload these or whatever I need with the legion whether it be the Legion mechanic or his skill. And my last grade one is a uh, three TikTok Flamingo, uh, just to be a solid 7K boost and to unflip damage, which this deck is really kind of blessed heavy. And then last, the trigger uh, grade zeros. So for a starter, I'm using the Rabbit. Um, in most great nature decks I've ever played, I like to use the blackboard parrot, 
but the rabbit works really good in this deck. Um, I just put him behind my Vanguard, and once I go into Legion mode, um, 20 isn't like an ideal number, but it doesn't necessarily need a boost either, um, especially since it's probably just going to get perfect guarded. And then this guy acts as a um, tank mouse, which I find is more beneficial in the deck than just the one-time draw. Um, so, yeah, I really like this guy. He's been working really well. Um, sometimes I miss the draw a card off the parrot, but usually the parrot's just breaking even anyway. Um, yeah. And then for the trigger lineup... I'm doing 12 crits. <laughs> um, I don't think this deck needs any draw power. It generates enough draw power on its own. And with all the drawing the deck actually does, you don't want to draw into a draw trigger. So these are all 10 shields. And um, sometimes early game, you kind of got to just fight mostly with the vanguard column. And if you're going to do that, you might as well be critting them so that you're putting out damage at the same rate as if you did have rear guards. And then when you're hitting really big numbers later, if crits the back come up, it's a lot more threatening. And then last, obviously, is our four heals. So that's it for the deck profile. Um, thank you for watching.